Hello, welcome to this presentation on shoulder impingement syndrome. Um, my name is Hani Georgi. I work at Activate Clinic as an exercise physiologist. Um, and I'm just going to start off by telling you a little bit about the anatomy of the shoulder and uh, what causes shoulder impingement syndrome. So, um, the most important quick lesson here is that this is a shoulder blade, right? And the area that we're worried about is this area. And it's mostly as a result of this bone that's at the top um, of the screen here, it's highlighted in green, which is the top of this um, shoulder blade. It's called the acromion process. Right, so you see the shoulder has this like we call it spine that runs through the middle of it and goes all the way over to make this um, AC joint here. So in this space underneath this bone uh, is where all these problems occur in impingement syndrome, which is one of the most common things that we see. And the reason is that there's quite a few things trying to fit in here. The most important being this muscle here called supraspinatus. All right. So this muscle is used almost every day. And as a result of its high use and its high importance, it can go through quite a lot of strain. And when it's been strained, it tends to inflame or swell up. Um, at extreme circumstances, it will be torn, um, which you know can be a, a big problem, can be a small problem. A lot of times, you know, a lot of people have tears um, that, are, that are quite minor. Most of them are quite minor and don't require much um, in, in terms of intervention, but there is a consequence of a, of a movement that's like that, uh, which is that once a muscle is torn, it loses some of its elasticity, but also it becomes a bit shorter and it inflames, which is swelling. So, um, you know, yeah, overuse, a big injury or, or a small injury that causes a tear um, kind of all result in shortening of the muscle, tightening of the muscle, and inflammation. So by itself, that's not a massive deal, but there is this other um, tissue in this area, yeah, called a bursa. And the bursa is like a cushion, um, it's like a pad that is supposed to protect the muscle from ever hitting against a bone. Um, because we don't want friction between a muscle and a bone. So this cushion exists to um, you know, prevent that direct contact between the muscle and the bone. But again, if the muscle below here, which is this red one called supraspinatus, um, you know, is injured or is overused or is weak and um, you know, suffers as a result by being shorter, being tighter or having inflammation, then it will take up more space, which will cause more friction between this cushion and the bone above. And then this cushion also will inflame as a result of that um, you know, friction that it's undertaking here today. Um, so then you've got two structures in here. And this is what they call a vicious cycle, where you've got two things that are swelling, there's less space, but the muscle that is high, high usage, and it just continues to create a loop that people get stuck into. And that is called impingement syndrome. Um, so you know, it's very difficult to, to solve, uh, but I think that's what I'm going to talk about next is, you know, this is um, the kind of the anatomy of the situation. Um, and I think I'll go on to the next step, which is explaining, um, you know, what exactly causes this kind of injury. 